You know what sucks? When you live inside your head. You know, because you're living inside your head so much that it's almost like it's like your dreams are what are, what you know your dreams are what makes you up kind of thing like what you're taught what your fears are you know what you like the things you're interested in you think that they come naturally or this or that but there's kind of i mean it kind of you know simply said yeah but you know you do certain things because of certain people that you associate with negativity so you don't really like a certain thing because in your mind it's negative but i don't know man i don't even know what i'm trying to say anymore but it's, it sucks sometimes to live in your own head your own imagination because it can be terrible you know what i've always said is if, is you know if i could fix the entire world you know if i could just make everything go away if i could just you know for real like like even though like i can be kind of rude and disruptive and uh you know i can do this acting thing or this writing thing where i'm i'm trying to write these crazy stories or or i'm trying to be a like this uh singer or, or like this rapper so i'm this character but it's really like you know and i'm not like even famous or any you know i'm not any of that noise i'm just like a nobody so it's all good because i don't really give a fuck anymore because i i did it so much that i don't care but you know oh fuck i forgot to i totally forgot what i was talking oh yeah if i would fix the world i totally would i make so many videos i'm just like sometimes i'll just zone out like oh fuck like where the fuck am i no it's not that bad but if anyone ever seen fight club right so fight club the scene where um you know the the guys are coming in to be recruited by brad pitt and stuff and they come to the porch and they stand on the porch for a week with no food or water or whatever you know what i'm saying and he just he says all these things to them right he's like you know oh you're you fat piece of shit get the fuck off my porch or, you know he's like you know you're never gonna make it you know you know you know whatever he says i can't remember their exact dialogue but i feel like that's almost like it is to be oh like someone that's making content in a lot of ways it's because you put the video on, you put the video on, you put the video on, it's like, the person, you could like show up to someone's porch, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, nope, no, nope, fuck you, I'm not listening to your shit, get the fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't know, even if you sit there for a week and post a bunch of videos, are they ever gonna let you inside to be a part of, you know what I'm saying? Are they ever gonna respect you or accept you? So, I don't know. You know what's crazy? I never knew the gorillas, the band or whatever, that they were just animated characters. <laughs> like, like, I didn't really know they were like, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought they were real people, but they were just animating someone after them. Like, it was kind of like an exaggeration of who they were actually, you know, musically or in the band or whatever. So, I, you know, all those years I watched the grills, I never looked them up on Wikipedia, I never paid attention to social, you know, I never paid attention. <laughs> and here I go on Wikipedia, and it says that they're animated characters. Okay, so someone's actually acting the parts or singing and making them, you know, there's people involved. But as far as the animated characters, they're not real. And so I looked at that, and I'm like, wow, that is genius. But I, and I feel so stupid but it's just like, damn, that's crazy that someone actually did that. I just had, I just had an epiphany just now up here walking. I was thinking about the gorillas and I've thought about this before cause I, I animate shit. And I, and I thought about this is I can actually uh, make a fucking, um, an animate, so, okay. I can make an animated character. I, I can make an animated, I don't know if I want to say this, but yeah, you know, an animated black character that's a rapper and I can rap like, oh, dude, that's such a good idea. So I can rap like I'm like a like voice act, like I'm black and I can make this fictional character and he can, he can, he can be his own thing and I can be my own thing. That would be crazy, but I can make the character. I can make a whole band. That's fucking trippy. If you actually played the drums and did it, you know, did all that shit and you knew how to animate or if you had a team or whatever you know you could do that that's crazy 
I just don't want a part of the bullshit. You know, I don't want to be a part of all the the arguments, the the all the, all the shit that goes around. You know, it's uh, like, oh, you don't get likes, you're not cool. Let's not like him because other people don't like him. Let's shun him and shame him because you know people go on the internet and that's you know that's the idea. <clears throat> but I like being in the feel good zone no matter what. So. Even if, you know, no one's liking me, everyone, you know, whatever the fucking situation is. I like to be positive and I like to be outside of it. Because I know it can get really crazy and some serious shit goes down. And, you know, I try to be in the cool. But, you know, it's like you you, 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 you can kind of risk yourself by putting yourself out there. Because you never know some crazy people out there. But, you know, I just kind of like to stay in that feel good, you know, like... Like feel good ink or something, you know, like they, you know, like feel just in that zone. You know what my mentality is right now? Is I crank it, you know? I crank it, I crank it, I crank it, and I, and I, I tune up, I tune up, you know? I dial in, I tune up, and I'm, I'm up here, I'm up here, you know? Energy high, energy high, I'm up here, I'm up here. <sighs> and then I put, a, I put the video on the line, right? No one likes it. So then I do it again. And I thought this was high. I thought this was the highest I could go, right? And then I just keep cranking. I just keep working. Just crank it, man. Just fucking crank it, you know what I'm saying? And then I go up higher and then higher and higher. And you just got to keep, like, I don't even know if anything's going to happen. I just, it's like I'm addicted to doing it. It's like I just want to go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't think normal people do that. But... I like to because it makes me feel good. I like to do it. And I don't know, it's a challenge. Competitive. I believe in God. I do. Now, I don't want to argue about it. I don't have to be, I don't even have to go to a church. I don't have to do anything, but I still believe. Now, I don't want to sit here and talk about it all day to people and get all up in their, in their business and be like, oh, this, that, this, you have to do this or make suggestions to them based on my religious preference. No. And you might say, well, you don't, you don't have a church. You don't go to church. You know, you, you don't even pray. Like you don't even talk about it. Like sometimes you even blast me online stuff. What's the deal with that? And it's like, well, you know, as an actor, as an artist, as a person who has struggled with mental illness in his life, I see that I have the right of way to do it. Now, that's not an excuse to do certain things and spread negativity. But, you know, being an actor and artist is a little bit different than, than just preaching to everyone. There really is. There's a line. So, you know, they always say there's a line in the sand. You know, there's, you know, the, the country is divided or whatever. And there's a lot of divisions. There's a lot of different things that beliefs and opinions that separate us. Just based on, you know, individual experience or subjective experience. So, you know, it might not have even been a belief if you weren't subjected to it by something. You know, you hate some something for this reason. You love something for that reason. But you know what? There's a, a big division. Of, you know, there's a big religious and political divisions. And that, you know, people know that. But, you know, is there any way to bridge that? You know? And you think about that with other people and at large, I don't know. You know, we might not ever reach that point. But with yourself, you can bridge that and be okay with it. But, you know, if you have an opinion, you got to express it. So, I have no opinion. So, I came out here. <clears throat> um, I got a decent response on the yesterday's videos, which is cool. Which I think everybody, if you're, you know, if you're watching my video, I feel like no one cares because here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm okay with that. But here's the thing is, you know, you get followers and you think, oh, I got followers. I got likes, you know, and you might get boosted up way and you might just calm down. And see, here's the thing with it is, you know, I don't like to be like, oh, this happened and, and now I, I feel good. And now, now people know my name or whatever, you know, or whatever like that. Like, oh, you followed me. So we're friends and we're going to be together and you're going to like all my videos and subscribe and, and buy all my stuff and be my follower because you believe in everything that I am. It's just like, you know, I'm not, I don't know, man. I just see it more like it is like, you might come by, you might get a laugh, you might get something and then you're gone. You know what I'm saying? And who knows? Who knows? You know, some people fall off, some people stay with it. So, you know, 